Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 42, and this is war number five, and we're going up against an alliance called Pradutori? Hope I said that right, probably did not. Uh, but let's take a look at, let's see, who they ban. All right, Omega Sentinel, Colossus, who I just recently took up, and uh, Scorpion. All right, so they didn't ban Gallon. That's cool. Uh, didn't ban Warlock. Love that. All right. Let's uh, spectate here. We're still in the planning phases. All right, so I don't have anybody on this first node, but I do have Nimrod, who gets lots of armor ups. Um, Gallon. That's a Gallon fight. Should go very, very quickly, in fact. Um, let's see. We've got... Um, ah, I hate Mojo. Uh, but really, Spider-Man 2099, Titania, Ant-Man. That's one you don't usually hear about. Uh, Red Guardian. I think can do that. All right. Ooh, Havoc. Well... That could definitely be um, Warlock. The Buffet Over Time, this this is tricky. Uh, we had this before, and you can't just go in here with Warlock. So notice that the Buffet Over Time, uh, when you trigger a buff, it's immediately nullified. And the Defender gains a regeneration um gaining their you know health or whatever vigorous assault while they have that they're going to be unblockable and do a whole lot more damage all right now look at the timing the ability the buffet goes on a seven second cooldown now with warlock anytime his armor up is removed he will get it back in, I believe it's 10 seconds. So you have a three second um, period here, grace period. So what you have to do, if his armor up gets taken down, you've got seven seconds to put up another buff like Dex and keep that buff until the buffet takes that down. Then you should keep your armor up and you should be good for the rest of the fight. Now, I have not tried that, but that is what I was thinking the last time we saw this Havoc. Now, of course, you could also just boost up um, and, and go in with uh, Nick Fury, perhaps, and just try to get him down before, uh, you know, he takes you out. That works. Uh, also, remember that any armor or not armor but any power draining will protect you just like armor ups will protect you so you can also bring someone that can power drain uh that doesn't you know perhaps get buffs or you know the other person that i was thinking uh would be like um angela high sig because then uh she has some you know, possibility that she can't be nullified, but I, I don't know. That that one seems dangerous because she gets so many buffs. So that, that seems dangerous to me. Um, but anyway, this particular node is annoying. I don't remember uh, what we did for the next one. I mean, you could always bring in uh, Havoc as well to fight this Havoc. Okay, so I got Super Scroll and Omega Sentinel. Okay, so if I bring Gallon, I need somebody, this Super Scroll gets armor up. So I need to have a Bleed Immune on that node. So I can bring Warlock. But if I bring Warlock, he's not Shock Immune to deal with Omega Sentinel. So if I bring Warlock, I'd have to bring someone else, like maybe Hulkling. 
to deal with that Omega Sentinel. That does not leave me with anybody to take the other nodes because these nodes, the minis, you know, we've got Hulkling up here. So here's what I plan to do. I'm going to bring in Gallon, who can take this Nimrod. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the first two minis. I'm going to let my uh, alliance mates deal with those two minis. I'm going to bring in Claire, who can handle both of these defenders, and also this mini up here. Okay. Yeah. She can handle that many. And then to help her out against this Omega Sentinel, I'm going to bring Odin. So I think that should cover everything here. I can take that Hulkling. I can take all of these. Uh, she should be able to nullify. Let me see here. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm thinking. She should be able to nullify uh, the armor ups with the Odin buff. She's going to have a 90 percent shock resistance. So that should be enough to give her um, staying power to get rid of those um, armor ups. So that's that's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, I'll run this by my uh, alliance mates and see if that's the plan. But that's that's what I'm thinking of doing at this moment. All right, we'll be back and you'll see how we did it. So this is the team that I decided to go in with. And I was so confident that this team could handle everything. You can see that I brought in Odin, even to help. And... Yeah, didn't quite work out like I planned. Do you see an issue? Go back. And I even looked over the nodes. And there was one little buff that I didn't quite realize what the interaction was going to be. Um, but more on that later. For this first fight here... Uh, we're going up against Nimrod, and on this particular path, Galen, if he's not banned, is going to eat that Nimrod alive, okay? So, he gets a lot of armor ups. You can see that my planetary mass is going crazy, okay? So, really, as soon as I can get to a special one, I could end the fight, okay? So, I'm trying to get... There we go. Heavy attack, and then bam. Special one, done. Okay? So, that's what gallon food looks like when gallon eats. So, most of the time you'll see them either ban gallon, and I got options for that, or they will just line that path with um, defenders that don't have any armor ups. But anyway, so that was the only fight that I had to do uh, in Section 1. Uh, glad I didn't have to deal with that mojo. Hate mojo. So we got that done. And uh, the middle was cleared. Usually with the timing, the way the timing goes, uh, if that left mini is not cleared, um, it'll be the next day before I get going. Um, cause I go to sleep and, uh, just the time zone, uh, when I'm awake, <laughs> if, if, if they don't get it done early enough, they'll be awake when I'm asleep. All right. So you can see here, I put on, uh, the, uh, pre-fights and all that good stuff. And. I wasn't too terribly worried about this particular fight. Um, Claire 
is a great counter to uh, Super Scroll. And on this node, really, um, Super Scroll will get armor ups. And so you want someone who is bleed immune. Well, she's bleed immune when she's in her Curse of Blood. So no problem there, okay? You see here, I'm nullifying, nullifying, just having myself a ball. Um, there we go, he got those armor ups. So if I was not bleed immune, I'd probably be taking bleed damage right now. All right? Um, and that bleed damage is vicious. It is very, very nasty and it stacks. So you don't really want to deal with it. All right? Things like that happen. Uh, I went up against uh, somebody with Nick Fury. And Nick Fury died. Okay? He got taken out by that bleed. So that should tell you something. Bleed took out his first life, then his second life done before he could get uh, the fight over with. Um, and you know how much damage he does uh, when he's in his uh, second life. Wasn't enough to outpace that bleed. So bleed immune is good. All right. So that's pretty much what we're doing here. Um, I stayed in Curse of Blood. Usually, I would try to cycle through to get rid of the poison on me, but I was like, you know what? Let's just play it safe because I could get bleed on me and just lose a whole lot of health before I could heal it back up. So down he goes. All right. Not too difficult. Just uh, play it nice and safe and stay in Curse of Blood. Um. As you can see, if you've already watched my video, you know that I took Claire to uh, rank five. So you're seeing a rank five Claire in action. And she is doing good. All right, so this one, I had to adjust sort of in the middle of the fight. So what I was going to do is um, just fight normally. But I forgot on this node... They are, um, I think, immune to nullify. You see the immune popping up? Um, so I wasn't able to nullify her, but the special two was able to handle it. So as long as I baited her specials, and you'll notice that I was trying to uh, do a little bit of a different combo, you know? Now that I knew that the special two would handle those uh, armor ups, um, I was like, okay, we're good. Okay, so I wasn't too worried and done. Okay, so, so far, so good. We're doing great. Everything is going according to plan. And that's when everything fell apart. So, normally, Hulkling is food for Claire. And I've got a rank five Claire. Okay. Rank five. Now, I looked over this node. And I looked over the buffs, as you can see. I'm looking over them. And I'm like, okay. Yep, we got this. Yep, yep. Take very close look at high energy diet. Now, think about Claire. I didn't. I'm looking at it. I'm reading it. And I, it, it didn't dawn on me that Claire does energy attacks. High energy damage is not just a reduction in the damage. That's key. Watch this travesty. Look at this. It was at this moment I knew that I had messed up. Look at his health. Look at this. I'm nullifying. I'm doing all the good things to him. Look at his health. Claire cannot do this fight. Now, I was also starting to think, well... Uh, maybe I could start doing uh, rotating special threes. 
that's a little difficult given the node. Uh, the node has changed. Um, but although I knew that I was pretty much done at this point, I was just mad with myself. And I'm like, Ugh, Claire. Oh, Claire. All right. So you can see he's, he's unblockable. So I didn't want to mess with him. Okay. But I wanted to see if uh, the special three. But did you see what just happened? That happens anytime buffs are nullified or expire or anything like that. Okay. So I healed myself a little bit back up. But you see that it's doing no damage. So she cannot out damage this node. Okay. That high energy diet completely neuters Claire. Okay, they basically heal up the damage done, period. Not a percentage of it, all the damage done. And since her attacks are all energy, she can't do any damage. She, she can't, well, she can do damage, but it, all of it's going to get healed up. Look at his health. All right. Um, I think later uh, in the fight, I did manage to get to a special three. Uh, and... That might have worked if I could keep doing that, but it was going to be a very, very long and difficult fight. And that's if it would even work. It, it would, it would, I'm not sure whether that would have even worked. Okay. So this point I'm being real stubborn, you know, I'm being stubborn. I'm just like, yeah, I know that I'm done here. So see, I dexed. And that, once the dex is gone, it uh, nullifies your, your damage. So I would have to take a lot of block damage against Hulkling. Hulkling. You know you don't want to get hit into your block with Hulkling, right? He'll build up those pierce and, and he'll take you out. So at this point, I already know that I just messed up. She was the wrong person to bring in. Uh, instead of bringing in... Um, Odin, I should have just brought in uh, somebody else that did not do energy damage. But I didn't. All right. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to make you sit through this whole thing. Uh, I'll speed it up. And uh, just spoiler, Claire didn't die. I couldn't bear to see her die. So I fought the entire fight and just timed out. All right, uh, but we'll be back uh, in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war as well. We are on a three win uh, winning streak, I guess. Um, we've won the last three wars. And we still need to keep on or else we will slip right out. Our rankings aren't the best right now, uh, but we need to keep on winning in order to have a chance to even stay in Platinum 2. Uh, it's possible, I guess, that we could get to Platinum 1, but I think at this point in time, we're just fighting to stay in Platinum 2. All right. Uh, let me show you guys here. All right. So this war was a little bit closer than uh, the other one was. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. It does help me out. Uh, reminds YouTube that I'm here and to uh, recommend my videos to people. All right. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.